The master bedroom closet in the house is also a family shelter, a family emergency shelter, such as in a hurricane or another type of emergency. It is um, but a low cost solution that uses typical uh, construction materials and skills. As you can see, what we have here is uh, hurricane hardware, anchor bolts, and straps that tie the bottom plate and the studs to the slab foundation. And then the wall and its own separate walls from the rest of the house. And it's lined with two layers of three quarter inch plywood panels that gives it both strength and impact resistance. Up at the top cutaway, you can see the strapping that ties the studs to its own ceiling joist separate from the second floor of the house. So you get that continuous load path that, you, that we have for the entire house in terms of its um, wind resistance features, but here it's to a higher level. Now this is not a, a safe room, a tornado safe room to FEMA standards. It, it would not suffice for a tornado five, um, but for most hurricanes, this would provide a higher level of protection and safety than the rest of the house. In addition to this room being reinforced and more impact resistant, um, these doors are just cosmetic doors. And then we have a steel pocket door that is between the two walls that can pull out and provide um, the security and the safety in an emergency. Um, all of this can be built with just a few hundred dollars worth of materials and standard labor and skills. And so it's a practical solution if you're not in a high risk zone for tornadoes. And also in a hurricane, um, this would be a, a safe option for people who have no chance of being in storm surge or a flood area. And it's just a wind event then this would be safe, the safer spot from the rest of the house.